And for the record, I, I've never once done one of those motorized scooters, not once. Hello and welcome to a first for us. Today we'll explain how we unexpectedly discovered a numbers matching rust free 1968 Shelby GT500 KR Fastback. It's been with its second owner for nearly 30 years when we first found it hidden away in a South Phoenix garage just a few weeks ago. You'll see a lot of pictures and video that we shot when we returned after we found it. The goal was to authenticate the car for any prospective buyers after the KR's owner expressed that he was considering selling his beloved Shelby. After spending well over an hour authenticating all of the numbers on the car and inspecting the body for previous rust repair and what currently needs to be done to bring the car back to as close to original as possible, it was only then that we realized what a truly special car this one is. We knew we needed to find a buyer who has the desire to bring the car up to its fullest potential. It was then that we reached out to Dennis Collins, who has a very popular YouTube channel called Coffee Walk, and we forwarded some photos and our detailed report. Dennis replied that he was interested and he was coming to Phoenix anyway that following weekend, so we didn't have a whole lot of time to get everything coordinated. Fortunately, the car gods were smiling on all of us that day and everything worked out perfectly. Dennis, accompanied by his mechanic Alex and his videographer Zach, arrived on time and immediately began inspecting this rare and beautiful car. The radiator, the MT is metallic. So when the guys were going to mix the paint, they had a different process where it was non-metallic and metallic. This was metallic paint, so they knew that was coming out. Far. So, so far, it looks great. And then, after driving the Lime Gold car, which has really been a lot of fun to drive, it's not a power steering car, this is going to be a lot more fun. Power steering, power brakes, and the smog still on it, which is really cool. You have to get your air injection rails, and then back for our valve, so we call, it, we call that the diverter valve. Looks really good. They're all hardcore car enthusiasts and are very knowledgeable about cars in general, but Mustangs in particular. They're also very down-to-earth people. They were excited about this low-mileage, two-owner Ford muscle car. There was also a bonus buy that Dennis made, but you'll have to watch his video to see what it is. After everything was done, we went to lunch at a great place nearby called, appropriately enough, The Collins, where we had a delicious meal and great conversation. We both enjoyed meeting the guys behind Coffee Walk and hope to one day again meet up with them. Who knows? There are a lot of cars in Phoenix just like this Shelby. We just have to find them. We've included a link in the description for the video that was posted on Dennis's channel last Friday. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, you really should because they detail all their car hunting adventures on a weekly basis. It's very entertaining. And watch this episode so you can see what else the guys picked up on their trip here to the Valley of the Sun. See the date codes on the fenders. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. We're talking about chalk marks. When I took this apart, there wasn't any. No chalk marks in no. there. It's kind of unusual. I'm going to look at the trunk and check the date.
turn left. That was This car is also Thanks for watching. Please let us know what you guys think of this amazing Shelby. We can't wait to see it completed at Dennis's shop in the next few months. We're happy to have made the connection between buyer and seller and that a very special car will now be taken to the next level and will once again be shown and enjoyed by car aficionados of all types. See you next Sunday.